Fran from the Gliding Centre at Husbands Bosworth and I'm here with Claudia who is and we're going to be talking about the Women Glide, the Women Glide initiative and what we're here to bring. This is our new YouTube channel so feel free to subscribe to follow our journey, to follow our excitement during this time. I mean we have a great period in lockdown to really bring more of gliding and more of us to you um, for your interest. So Claudia tell us a little bit about you for those that don't know you. Hi, I'm Claudia. Um, I fly at the London Gliding Club at Dunstable and I've been flying for about 26 years now, I think. Um, and I'm a member of the women's squad and hoping to fly the women's world at Husband's Bosworth in 2022. Amazing. It's very exciting and it's very exciting to bring more of women and some of us that are really passionate about gliding and flying to the foreground so that others can get kind of excited and do stuff about gliding and perhaps if you're new to gliding and you've never actually done gliding before that after the lockdown ends that you might feel infused to take it up knowing that there are plenty of females out there that also also take up gliding as a hobby so i wanted to chat with claudia as well because um to just talk about the Women Glide initiative and its purpose and what we're here to bring as, as females in gliding um, to the foreground really. So Claudia, over to you. Yes, Women Glide um, was founded in I think 2005 actually at the Women's Worlds in Germany um, where a number of British team members decided that we need more women in gliding. Sure. So they came up with the Women's Development Initiative and the first meeting was I think at Vista in early 2006 and I actually, I wasn't um, one of the founder members then but I attended that meeting. Um, there were about 30 women so it was really quite popular and um, I'm, I'm just a classic example of um, how Women Glide can work for people because um, I was talked into flying my first competition um, at that meeting because I, I was from a small club. Weekend only, volunteer only, there weren't many people at my club who flew competitions. I thought competitions were only for people who are really, really good and only at the big clubs. And I was told, no rubbish, go, go and fly the Northerns. They're really, really friendly there and it's a good comp. So that's a regional qualification competition. <clears throat> and so I flew that one in 2006 and I thought, God, this is fun. I want to do this again. So I then started flying regionals every year. And I did several at Husband's Bosworth. And um, in 2010, um, the Nationals happened to be at Husband's Bosworth and again the Women Glide women um, talked me into flying my first Nationals. So I did. A year later I qualified for my first Women's Worlds. So yes, I'm, I'm a classic example of how Women Glide can work for people and I wouldn't be here without it. Amazing and I mean that's kind of the purpose of the YouTube channel right to really Ed, you know educate people that actually there are people out there like you like me that are aspiring to do better within gliding that want to be better cross-country pilots um, and we're grouping together to you know women really helping build women up really so if, even if you don't want to do cross-country you might want to be an aerobatic pilot then we're all here together supporting each other and we also have um, set up a Facebook community group so that you know people can ask questions about what they might want to know what they might want to learn next and you know feel free to join that as well there'll be a link in the bottom in the comments of this YouTube channel of this YouTube video so definitely head over to that and get in the community and also part of the YouTube channel here we're going to um, bring some events to you and some uh, YouTube live videos as well coming forwards. I've created a whole calendar worth of content and the idea as well is so that you can follow the squad's journey because um, during the lockdown last year um, some of the, the women got together and we've formed a British, British squad and 
really working behind the scenes to do more and bring much more of a close-knit group of women and you know that's kind of what this idea has stemmed from to really incorporate even more people from more gliding clubs because you know we're all a bit kind of here there and everywhere and we just want to bring that all together really going forwards and you know be much closer together and supporting each other more and if you don't already know um we've got the we've, we're on facebook we've got a facebook page we're on instagram and you can follow us by typing in women glide uk and also of course subscribe to this youtube channel and join us for more videos debates hot topics and i'm going to be doing some pilot profiles as well of some of the squad members um and is there anything else to add claudia I don't think so. I just, yeah, I just, as I keep saying, I, I've benefited so much from Women Glide and I always feel it's such a good community because there are clubs where there's only one female member, two female members, and it's just so much nicer when you know there are more of us out there and you can connect with people, even if you don't have people in your own club, we're here and we, we, we can support each other, answer questions and all sorts of stuff. Definitely. So join us in the community, even if you're not a glider pilot and you really fancy having a go and if you want to reach out, we can certainly help you find the nearest gliding club that you can join and maybe have a trial lesson. If you're somebody that's just gone solo and you want to learn what's next or what's after, again, reach out to us, join the community and ask questions. Um, and you know, maybe one day you might get into the British team too. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching and have a lovely evening.